Welcome back everybody. So you guys can see yesterday morning, I actually went to go pick up this 1973 Huffy lawnmower. It's a vintage mower and it actually didn't run when I got it. It has an 8 horsepower um, Briggs motor, by the way. Um, but yeah, it didn't run when I got it. Um, I actually started working on the carburetor, but one of the main problems that it had um, was the pull start wouldn't work. It was stuck. So yeah, my dad actually got to work with a pull starter while I started working on the engine. So here you guys can see, I actually made this custom hood for it. That way I can open it up whenever I wanted to. Um, so yeah, this original pull start was really stuck. Um, it's still kind of stuck at the moment, but it's enough to actually start the engine. And then while he was doing that, I actually started working on the carburetor. Here you guys can see right now it's actually pulled off. Um, but at the moment, we never took it off and cleaned it. Um, all we did was hit it with some starter fluid. It fired right up. So I installed a gas tank just to go test it. I filled it up all the way. And then while I was driving, it smelled like it was burning a lot of gas. So I checked that gas tank and it was all empty. So that obviously led me um, to think that the carburetor wasn't working good. So I decided to pull off the carburetor. And um, what I saw was really, really shocking. I don't even know how this thing ran with the carburetor that was on it. Now I'm gonna show you guys it. All right, so here you can see the carburetor. Um, it's just really gunked up. I don't even know what happened to this with the original owner, but here you can see the float. Um, these floats, by the way, are all made out of brass because they're old vintage um, carburetors. But here you guys can see, it looks like someone um, like tried smashing it or something and it just doesn't work, it's stuck. So I don't know how this thing ran with this um, because it's just stuck. It was just obviously um, wide open. So I don't know how it was even working if it was just flooding. And then here you guys can see the bowl. It's just full of all this gunk. I'm guessing this is all dried up gas and whatever it was in here, um, water and the old gas tank, pretty much anything. So yeah, I don't really know how this thing ran with that old carburetor on it. Um, but yeah, I did get a brand new carburetor for it. So yeah, the new carburetor was around $25 um, plus tax. And then obviously the chain. Um, with a couple of links is um, I think $12 but yeah like I said I don't even know how this thing ran with that old carburetor I guess it was just wide open now I did go um this morning and start wire brushing everything I just sort of clean up the engine a little bit before we get the new carburetor put on and I started cleaning up the frame now um you guys should leave this in the comments I don't know if I should paint it I'm thinking of just sanding it down keeping the rust look and just clear coating it that way it doesn't rust anymore but yeah I'm not that sure if I'm gonna paint it if I were to paint it I think I'm probably gonna paint the hood gloss red and the frame gloss black i'm not that sure though i really love that old look that it has so i'm thinking of just clear coating it um but yeah you guys can leave it in the comments i just decided i would show you guys it um now like i said we are waiting for some parts the carburetor and the chain that way we can actually get it riding and then until then we'll see you guys in the next one